on the Colorado and Southern Railway Northern Division. Passenger and through freight trains run by the timetable schedule. When opposing trains meet, the inferior train crew clears by moving on to a siding. There's no need for the dispatcher to issue train orders. Train order semaphores remain low, signaling no orders to the passing train crews. Once in a while, something disrupts the plan and the dispatcher steps in. Today, that something is southbound train number 46. It's non-clearing, too long to fit in any siding. Luckily, the dispatcher has a plan to smooth the journey. His first call is to the Rice Yardmaster. Dispatcher here. Station op, can you get Rice Yard on the line? Here he comes, dispatcher. This is Rice Yardmaster. Dispatcher here. Southward train number 46 is non-clearing today. We need to make sure train number 45 can clear all sightings so they can make a meet without problems. Let's see. Number 45's manifest looks typical. I'll make sure it clears. Thank you, Rice. Dispatcher out. Okay, station op. Now we go to work. Stand by to copy orders. 19. Louisville North. Longmont South. Copy 2. Stop displayed. Louisville North. Longmont South. Ready to copy. Ah, red board. We've got orders here in Louisville. Let's go see the station op. Number 23 has a red board in Louisville. Here you go. Ah, thanks. Looks like we have to meet number 46 at Niwot. We're superior, but we're going to have to wait, even if he's late. Yeah. Your call is for number 46. It's a non-clearing train, and Longmont has your waybills. All right, thank you very much. Looks like we have two orders. The dispatcher has given us fixed meets with train numbers 23 and 45 at Nye Watt and Valmont. Looking at the timetable, number 46 always meets train numbers 23 and 45. And as a southbound third-class train, we are inferior to both trains. We have to be on a siding for each meet by at least five minutes, but our train is too long for any siding, so we cannot clear. The two meet orders solve this problem. Train numbers 23 and 45 have to stop at their meeting station and wait for us. We can then roll number 46 around those superior trains. Checking the Longmont register, there are no overdue trains. Time for number 46 to leave. We make our first meet here at Niwot with number 23. As the inferior train, we take the siding. Our train is fouling the north switch, so we leave our headlight on to warn number 23.
Dispatcher, OS Niwat. Go ahead, Niwat. Niwat reporting number 46 in at 642. He's definitely non-clearing. He's several cars beyond the north switch. That's a big train you've got today, Carl. I'm sure glad we saw your headlight. I'm glad you saw it too, Pete. And uh, that meat order's gonna let us just pull around you and be on our way. Well, great. Listen, you have a good trip. We'll line the north switch behind you. All right. Thanks, Pete. You have a good trip too. The station order board still shows no orders for us. On to Valmont for our meet with number 45. Nye Watt reporting number 46 out at 706. Here's Valmont. Number 45's crew is signaling that the siding is lined for us and we can proceed in without stopping. Number 45 is waiting for us as required by train order number 16. As the superior train, he's holding the main track with his headlight on. Number 45's rear brakeman is signaling that the south switch is lined and he will close it behind us. Great, we can keep our speed for the ruling grade on Burke's Hill. And that's how it's done. Next stop, Denver's Rice Yard. 